Oh, the door is gone. Oh, no. Is that a bad thing that the door is gone? Oh, I turned it off again. Turn the fucking computer on. What's playing on the TV? Oh, sorry. One second. Let me, uh, skibbity toilet multiverse volume off. There we go. Skibbity toilet. There better not be a fucking creature in here with me. I swear to God. Better not be a dumb motherfucker in, in here. I think Brendan should go frolicking in the woods in the middle of the night. Uh, I don't like that kind of thing. No, sir. I don't like it. Better not be any motherfucker inside my funny home. Better not be a motherfucker inside my funny home. I'll freak out, I'll shit my pants, and I'll scream, scream, scream. Better not be a motherfucker inside my funny home. I hate this storage area. These fucking things are nightmares. I hate these. Fucking shelves, dude. Get out of the way. Fuck you. I gotta grab these. Just kinda, kinda collecting all of my, um, all my shit here. Out of the way! Stop it! Ow, my fucking leg! I'm gonna- I'm gonna hurt- I'm gonna stub my fucking toe. I understand. Collect me all my fucking tapes. Bathroom's looking good. We can piss. Piss and shit for extra energy. Oh! 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 I hate- I hate- I hate, dude. I fucking hate, dude. <laughs> Gnomes. This is what I get for shit-talking gnomes, dude. I shit-talk gnomes for literally one minute, and a fucking goddamn gnome pops up a little gray alien cardboard cutout for me. Got my fucking ass. What if the gnomes and aliens enter an uneasy alliance against Brendan? I don't know. Maybe I'll uh, fucking hit them with a hammer until they die. We don't know. Maybe I'll just fucking hit them with a hammer until they're dead. Makeshift glue bomb with the syrup. Why do you want me to make a fucking- Brendan, what if you spread glue traps? Okay, think about this. Alien defense. Glue trap here. Glue trap here, glue trap over here, right here. So many glue traps. You're, you're gonna grab an alien and it's gonna be like a rat stuck in its saucy cage. Bed. What? I don't like that. What do you mean you can sense something? Sounds like you're getting sleepy there, Brendan. You should just stand there and not touch anything. Oh no. Nope. Into the locker we go. Into the locker we go. Honestly, sometimes shit like that happens that I have no idea what event it is. It's probably the fireflies. Into the locker we go. Nope. Can't get me. I played Outlast. I remember the big guy who goes, eh, 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 eh. Hide in the locker we go. Hands up. Hands up. Hands are up. Scary theremin music is playing. Hands up. We're in the locker. You can't get- I'm such a pussy. You can't get me out of this fucking locker. You're gonna have to pull me out, you dumb son of a bitch. Well, I can hear it. It's fucking gnomes. It's fucking gnomes in it. Have you seen any ghoulies? I did see the infinite darkness. Oh no, don't nod off. Hide in the locker. Hands up. Hands up. What is that line? What is that line? I'm in the locker. Sleepy, sleepy EP in the locker. Something's making you look at it? No. I'm in the locker. You can't see me. Nope. I'm in the locker. You can't see me. Stop making me look at you. Nope. What? Chat. Hi. Nope. I'm in the locker. I'm fine. I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm fine. I'm in the locker. Nope. Ready to go to bed? I can't. Something is here. And there's probably that thing right behind me. So. Oh, yeah. The locker just has a face. Oh, boy. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. My chat's making me do this. I don't like this. I'm buying a soda. I'm drinking a Mountain Dew. Fuck you, and not sleepy anymore, you dumb s son of a bit. Why is that open? I'm not fucking tired anymore, you dumb son of a bitch. What are you gonna do? I drank a whole fucking soda pop. I'm ready to fucking rock. I Dad drank a whole fucking soda pop, and he's ready to fucking tussle. Let Walgreens. New from the makers of Head On. Come on, fuck head. Come and Arthritis fucking get me. Active on. Apply directly where it hurts. Active on arthritis. Available at Walgreens. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. I'm not scared of you. I'm not Head afraid. On. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. There's something here. Head on. Available at Walgreens. New from the makers of Head On. Introducing. I'm just sitting here with Head On playing at max volume. Oh my god. Come on. Roll a can at me. Chef Boyardee style. Roll a can at me. Oh, not tonight, sweetie. You've had Chef every night this week. But I love Chef! I love Chef. Come on, fuckhead! I'm rolling! I'm rolling! <laughs> 
bouteille d'air Et le jour, ça commence Comme rien I'm fucking ready Une brume Et ton brume Viens frapper Dumbass Eat your ravioli, Brendan I don't have any ravioli I'm awake though My ass is awake uh, Oh my, is that a fucking astronaut? What the fuck? Chat, why is there an astronaut out there? Why is John Madden in space? Hey you Hey you 999 999 What the fuck? Why is there fucking- why is Moonbase Alpha out there? 2am, 2am, don't like it. Almost the witching hour, the witching hour is upon us. He lives there. Prop this up against the door. Better not be up in the vents. You better not be Freddy Fast Bear. He lives there? That guy lives out there? That's fucked, that sucks. Come and fucking fight me! You dumb bitch, I dare you to Freddy Fast Bear fucking- Yeah. Yeah. You fucking afraid, tummy boy? Bet you fucking are. Well, listen to my provocations, huh? I'm getting real provocative in here. Uh, I'm gonna get real provocative with it. I'm gonna say crazy shit. I'm gonna fucking go gungus. All right, I went outside. Come and fucking face me. I'm a, I'm a hopped up on a whole Mountain Dew, dude. I got no fucking fear in any of my limbic system. I, I hopped up on a full Mountain Dew, and I'm gonna finish my fucking White Claw. I'm fucking ready. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mine at night. I'll mine at night, dude. Don't you fucking test me. My chunky white ass will mine at night. I swear to fucking God. I'll do it, you dumb son of a bitch. I'll mine at night. Pop. And then I'm gonna pop ya. Then I'm gonna pop ya. Then I'm gonna pop ya. Pickaxe through the fucking head. Swing the fuck away. Don't fucking do it. You say don't fucking do it? Did I hear you correctly, Buster? You say don't fucking do it? Don't fucking do it, Brendan. You're gonna be in trouble if you mine at night. Don't fucking do it. What did you say to me? You say don't mine at night? I don't know, I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little, getting a little slime here. Easy there, Brendan, let's not do anything rash. You say, don't mind the night? There's a creeper in the yard, and it won't get very far. Gonna fucking kill the guy. If he's green, I'm gonna cry. Seeing alien outside, and I will smash your head! Gonna pop you with my pickaxe till you're dead! Fuck you! Don't mind at night. In it all again. Don't mind at night. Yeah. Give it all again. Don't mind at night. Fuck you, fuck you. I'm mining rock. I'm mining stone. I'm mining rock. I'm mining stone. What are you gonna do? You think I'm out of my gourd? I think there's something fucking out here. I think it's fucking Bigfoot. It's a squash. I'm freaking out. I'm geeking out. Dumbass bitch. Too fucking afraid of me. Not even fucking strong. Let's fucking go! Watch this shit! Yo! Let's go! Let's fucking go! Look at it! Yo! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, those are empty. Damn it. I got a lot. Where did it go? Did it go up into the vent? Where did it... Oh, there it is. It's up against the wall. It's spraying cream at an alien outside. It's spraying cream into the fucking forest! Stop it. Get out of there. Get out of there. Stop. Get out of there. Fuck. <laughs> I can't get it out of there. It's always fucking gnomes. It's always gnomes. I blame gnomes. Gnomes are the cause of 90% of the world's strife. If something bad happens in your life, blame a fucking gnome. Because it's probably a fucking gnome. If there's fairy circles around, then there's gnomes abound. You know the rules. Brenton, do not eat the weird mushrooms. Why? Dude, if I find a mushroom in the middle of the ground, I gotta eat it, right? Like, I have to follow the will of the world. Listen, I am somebody who ascribes to the theory that you have to follow the will of the world. If the will of the world puts a mushroom in front of me, poison be damned, I have to eat that son of a bitch. Especially eat the mushrooms that are big and round and white. Oh boy, poison, my favorite. Love a, love a poison dinner. Bro, are you talking about mushrooms that make you big, nice and big and round? What is wrong with you? Are you talking about the mushrooms that make you swell? What is wrong with you? What the hell? Or would you rather be transplanted in Starfield, Fallout, or Elder Scrolls? Starfield. Um, because scientific- even though Starfield sucks between those three, uh, it's a scientific society, and that means that I can go and, like, I don't know, work space retail, I guess? I can work space retail. That's something. Sh sell shit on, like, a slime planet. Chill out, have a good time. Uh, drink a coffee, have a cube meal. Fallout would fucking suck because post-apocalyptia oftentimes sucks.
the worst part is I'll be in the least thought out universe, but like I do I can watch it I can watch a DVD or something. At least they got that. Oh no, that's right, because they did actually do that, didn't they? Didn't they send a Tesla car out into space? They just fucking threw it out there. Like, I am so cool. I'm going to send a car into space. That is how cool I am. Yeah, he did launch a fucking... I forgot about that. I forgot he just launched his car into space. Imagine if the car comes back and it's just full of alien beer cans. I think that's the best. I think that is the best, like, shit. What? I think that's, like, the best shit IMO. If that car comes back and it's just a bunch of alien beer cans. Alien beer is poison to us. Oh, shit. The Tesla car is the meteorite that will wipe out human race. No, imagine a billion years from now. Right? Imagine, like, a billion fucking years from now, right? Uh, the Tesla car reaches an alien world and it fucking impacts the alien world. Right? It hits... The yeah. It hits the alien world and it, like, destroys their city. It wipes them out. They detect where it came from and they send missiles towards us. By the time their missiles get to us, humanity's already wiped out. Imagine an entire civilization dead on impact because Elon Tesla had to sh send his shit car out there. I love, um, the Cybertruck shenanigans. Like, I don't know, I don't know if you do, chat. I don't know if you care, but it's very fucking funny to me. The amount of Cybertrucks that are having, like, all of these issues and the people that are, like, making the Cybertruck their entire personality. And the Cybertrucks, they're all just fucking falling apart. They're just fucking like, oh yeah, my door fell off yesterday and it's gonna take three years for a replacement. Thank you, Elon! Yeah! Like, the Cybertruck woes, whenever I see them, uh, fills me with hope and light. Even though, fucked up, I'm gonna say it, I'm, I'm, I'm white enough and millennial enough to say, I love the way that fucking truck looks. I wish it wasn't an Elon truck. I wish somebody made a truck that was as angular as that, but wasn't an Elon truck. Aesthetically, it is exactly what I crave, and I'm a worse person for it. I fucking love how angular and disgusting it is. How fake, like, future it is. Um, I, I genuinely am disgusted by it, and I am enthralled by it in a way. It's a Brendan problem, I know. It's a, it's one of my least, uh, it's just, it's so awful. There we go. Let's listen to the astronaut. Whoa! He's like screaming for help. Bro, I'm sorry. Um, I mean, I'll send you off, right? We'll send you off next. Like, bro, I am sorry that you were out there like that. Well, I'm glad he's frozen in there and that we're out here and that he's the sheriff. You're recording an alien taking a massive dump? Oh, I had oh, a fall. Fuck. Oh. And he's just... Uh, He's actually just fine. His spaceship is right around the fucking corner of space. They sent him out there so we could take a dump in his suit because they hate how he sounds when he takes a dump. Sorry, Glorbo. We got to send you outside. Why? Because, dude, we fucking hate the sounds you make when you take a dump, dude. We fucking hate the sounds you're making when you're dumping out there, dude. We fucking hate it. The gnomes are sending in the clowns. No, I don't want the gnomes to send in the fucking clowns. Clown ship. What if a small little clown car appeared in front of the satellite base and just... I would hate that, I'm not gonna lie. Is Brennan scared of the killer clowns? I, I'm not, like, scared of looking at them, but I don't want to watch the movie. It's part genuine disgust and part, like, ah, fucking clowns. Alexa, activate the electric clown gnome fence. Alexa, destroy all clowns that you spot. Alexa, can you, um... Can you destroy all clowns within a 15 meter radius, please? Thanks, Alexa. But Brendan, you are a clown. Is it not a clown's duty to hate what he is? Am I a clown? Yeah. I am a clown. Do I hate myself? Yeah, why is there blood on the floor? That's not blood, that's zesty sauce. You see that? Zesty sauce. Somebody, somebody who worked here before me. Oh, no, 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 no. Meow. Somebody who worked here before me was really into zesty sauce and spilled it all over and then nobody cleaned it up. No, if Alexa purged all my clown DNA, that'd be- that'd just be- that'd just be- that'd just be weird. I need that clown DNA. What'll I do without my clown DNA? How can I hope to be an ultimate e-clown without clown DNA? You need clown DNA to be an e-clown. 
You can put it in a little vial and hang it around your neck like Austin Powers Mojo. I don't even remember what that- like a clown egg or- What are we talking about again? I got too into the game again. It happened again. Clown egg? You know, oh, you don't know about clown eggs? So clowns, uh, to save their trademark, um, have these clown eggs. And the clown egg has the clown's makeup on it. Hello, Kevin. How are you, Kevin? <laughs> nice, Kevin. Good one, Kevin. You chill. You chill, Kevin. You a chill guy. Brandon, do you prefer your clown eggs funny side up or over easy? I want to... Catch me walking into the clown depository where they have all the clown eggs stored, and I have a fucking hammer and I'm smashing every clown egg. I'm sorry. I'm just cracking them open. I'm not making an omelet. I'm not fucking eating them. I'm smacking those eggs. They're solid wood that will work. Uh, ball peen hammer? I could break a wooden egg with a hammer. They aren't real eggs. They're solid wood. Yeah, I didn't think they were painting onto real eggs. And I'm also saying that a fucking hammer could break an egg of wood. Oh, Brendan, a, a hammer could never break a wood egg. An egg of wood. It could. They're real eggs from real sexy clown. That's an oxymoron. There's no such thing as a sexy clown. Fuck you. I don't give a shit if that thing squirts seltzer water. Fuck you. Clowns are morally good. No, they're fucking not. I'm a clown and I'm morally evil. I don't. Clowns are inherently scary. That is the culture shift. Clowns used to be like funny. Ha ha he who he he. They're not anymore. The culture shift has happened. Blame Stephen King, it, Tim Curry, and Funny Pennywise, uh, that other guy, Bill Skarsgård. Blame them. Now there's only pe there's only two kinds of people. People want to fuck the clowns and people who fear the clowns. That's it. There's two kinds of motherfuckers. Clowns are funny. I like clowns. No, you don't. You like the idea of the perfect clown and the perfect clown does not exist. Can't believe I can believe that Brendan is going to get canceled for anti-clown hate speech. Clowns are fucking, they're just evil. They're demons. I just don't trust. I don't trust nobody who gets into clowning. I'm sorry. I just don't trust like that. Ulterior clown motives. Way out here. What if you came home and Shelby was dressed as a clown? Divorce. I don't... What would you do if your wife came home and clown was her new job? I mean, divorce. I'm not... I didn't marry my wife because she's a clown. Like, I, I, I will fully say, if my wife came home and I had a big diaper on, right? And I was sitting there on a human, like, adult male changing table and I said, goo goo gaga... She would divorce me. I would expect that of her. If my wife was dressed as a clown, that's the same as if I wore a diaper and said, Goo Goo Gaga, change me. I shit my pants. All right. Same fucking thing. And I wouldn't do that to my wife. And my wife would not do that to me. Unless the, the, if the clown job paid a lot, then I maybe. <laughs> you never know. You never know. What if the clown job pays a lot? You never know. Not going to lie. Not gonna lie, if it's like a necessary thing for our budget and the clown job pays her a ton, it's probably not divorce, but like, I'm gonna make sure she needs to get, she's gonna have to text me before she comes home and like, take all of that shit off. All of it. She's gonna have to take all that shit off. No, yeah, not a clown job, not a clown job, but a clown, a professional clown job. A clown job, but like a job that is a clown, not a clown job. <laughs> Turning my dick into a balloon animal. Ribbed for your pleasure. Hitting him with the clown job. Do it shit. Do it fart. Do it spray like seltzer water. Gonna be real. Didn't expect that that face is the one to generate this voice. Nice glasses though. Hey, thanks. I'm sorry. That's why uh, part of my part of my uh, beautiful Brendan mysticism is I looked like I was built like a Nintendo YouTuber. Wrong out of the big boy factory. And God decided, let's give this guy a gravy voice of, 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 of heavenly slime. And there it was, baby. That slime given directly to me. I have utter respect for clowns. Unrespected profession. I don't. Unless it's like Cirque du Soleil. You know what? Actually, I'll give you this one. Cirque du Soleil clowns that are doing like crazy clown acrobatics. I respect the hell out of Cirque du Soleil clowns. The crazy acrobatics, they get it. They go insane. I respect one type of clown. I'll, I'll take back my evil uh, clown hate words. I do, in fact, respect one kind of clown. And that's the Cirque du Soleil clowns. But a clown has never made me laugh and I recoil in fear. So, of course, I'm going to hate clowns. Oh, gee, you think the guy who is a fucking dehabilitating clown fear is going to be afraid of clowns? Probably. What about the Cirque du Socum? Socum... You can do so much better. I believe in you. You can do so much better. You can do so much better. I believe in you. Do better. Be better. Try harder next time. So come. You can do so much better. 
I'm I'm like I'm like shake I'm wagging my finger. You could do so much better. I believe in you. I'm putting the full weight of my brain behind you. I believe in you. You can do so much better. I believe in you. The Cirque de Suck. No. No Cirque de Suck. We need to send Brenda to clown school. I would die. Clown school, clown college would fucking kill me. We need to kill Brendan is what I'm fucking hearing. We got to send Brendan to clown school, AK. Yeah, we got to kill this Brendan guy. I was watching his stream and like for a little while, I was kind of liking him, but now I don't know. We, we, we got to just fucking kill this guy. We got to drop a thermonuclear warhead in his fucking brain. Just do it. It'll be funny, I think. We got to fucking kill this guy. We got to fucking what? We got to. Sorry, Brendan, but um, you know, the chat is spoken. We got to fucking kill this guy. A local man would rather stand in retail establishment and be shouted at for one hour straight than endure 10 minutes of pleasant clownery. I just think that, uh, like, clowns, uh, y y part of me believes that if you're, like, a good clown and not an evil, fucked up, twisted clown, you definitely have an uphill battle to climb, and I respect that. I do. I respect the uphill battle. Clowning has gotten a bad rap, and I do get that, but as somebody that is viscerally afraid of, like, 1950s jovial clowns, not even scary clowns, just 1950s, like, jovial circus clowns, um, if you dress up like that, I'm dying. That scares me. I want to respect the hell out of you, but also, that scares the Brendan. What a beautiful day outside. I wanna, I, you, you ever walk around as a kid? You have like a little forest hike. You're like traipsing through the forest. You're fucking like. You're having a great time. And you see a pine cone. Did anybody else get like the visceral need to just want to put the pine cone in their mouth and crunch it? Right? Anybody else like you see a pine cone and you're immediately like, I have fucking pika. I got to fucking eat this. No. I just have so. I've never done it. But as a kid, I so longed to, to put a pine cone in my mouth and just eat it. And I knew, I, like, I never did it because I knew that I, I, I knew what the result would be. Intuitively, I understood what the result would be. It hurt, mouth hurty, right? Like, I get that. I totally get that. Mouth fucking hurty. That shit just happens. Stop streaming right now. Go outside and eat a pine cone. I'm not going to go outside and eat a pine cone. That should be like a Pokemon, dude. That shit evolve into Fortress. You get that pine cone Pika urge. I don't know what it is. I used to have a bunch of marbles when I was a kid. And yeah, I'll, I'll fully admit this. I'm man enough to admit this. I take my bag of marbles and I put them all in my mouth. Just all the fucking time. Like swish them around in my mouth and then spit them out onto the hardwood kitchen floor. Because I like the sound of like the wet hard thud of the glass ball onto the ground. And I was a weird kid. I'm a weird adult. Weird. Quirky. Well, uh, I was a weird fucking kid. But every once in a while, the urge... That fucking urge. What if pine cones were nomegs? You fucking figured it out. I think pine cones are fucking nomegs. No, it's tree egg. Pine cones are tree eggs. I don't think pine cones are nomegs. Silly. That's the egg where the tree. That should be like a Pokemon. <sighs> what if you went to Walmart and everybody's hanging out and shopping, but there was a gnome that was like jumping across the aisles and nobody could see that gnome but you? Would you follow him or would you say, fuck that? I'm leaving that shit alone. Fuck that. I'm not fucking, I'm not dealing with that shit. You leave, the gnome follows you home. What do you do when you find a gnome in your home? You fucking pop it, right? What vape flavors do you think a gnome would vape? If, if a gnome had a vape, it'd be like Kringleberry. What are you hitting over there, Silas? Oh, you know, Dexter, just a little Kringleberry. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Oh. Kringleberry. Tingle time. Forest slime. You go to the vape shop. There's an elf behind the vape shop. Just an elf. Like, hanging out, working the vape shop counter. Oh, shit, you're not a gnome. You want some fucking Kringleberry? I'll set you up, dude. Elf working at the vape shop. Gnomes buying disposable vapes and leaving them everywhere. Bro, you gotta fucking hit this shit. Oh, that's like the... Oh, that's like Christmas. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, fuck, dude. That shit hits like Christmas. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck, dude. They just fucking hit that thing. Crazy style. Horks on the hash. <laughs> You're gonna try this blood poison flavor. <sighs> yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just fantasy races hitting the vape. It's the dumbest fucking... Gnomes wouldn't swear. Yeah, they fucking would. Grow up. Gnomes wouldn't swear, ass motherfucker. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, fuck. You gotta fuck. Dude, you gotta fucking try this. Oh, fuck, dude. I'm faded, I'm faded, oh fuck. Hit the Benjamin, hit the Benjamin. <sighs> oh, yeah. That shit's nasty. 
No, I'm sitting the fucking Benjamin. I'm fucking cursed. Pain. New Shadowrun goes fucking crazy. Ogres have their own really big vapes. Ogre gives it gnome. Ogre gives it gnome. The ogre vape. What are the gnome flavors? Kringleberry. Tiddlywinks. Uh, mushroom medley. The gnomes would be smoking mushroom medley right out of the fucking big gnome vape. Gnomes are hitting the fucking mushroom medley. You cannot fucking, you cannot fucking sway me one way or another. I know. I know that gnomes are hitting the mushroom medley, and I know they're out there, and they're fucking... Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, my fucking lungs. Oh. I think I have popcorn lung. You have popcorn lung? I have popcorn lung. Oh, fuck. You know, I don't believe in the gnomes are really out there. You know the real fact that I don't believe gnomes are out there, chat? There hasn't been a gnome that has, like, woken up in the hospital with, like, long COVID. I didn't... I didn't none of the... Gnomes didn't get any... The Novids didn't contract COVID-19, so... Genuine belief. Gnomes aren't real because they would have gotten our fucked up diseases. Gnomes made COVID as an anti-gnome device. That's my conspiracy theory. You gotta understand, all right? I come from a place of intelligentsia. You gotta understand and you gotta fathom me, all right? Here's the fucking thing, all right? Gnomes. Gnomes caused COVID-19. It was all fucking gnomes. I went out there in the forest and I was hanging out, eating blackberries off of a tree. I was stark naked, no clothes, not a, not a shirt, not a pant, not an underwear in sight. And I saw this little guy who was wearing a blue shirt. He had a little red hat and he had a big fucking needle and he ran at me. He was going, <laughs> he was trying to fucking get me. And I will say to you, it's a goddamn gnome. And I would never let it happen again. Goddamn fucking gnomes. Alex gnomes. I don't like them. Gnomes, I don't like them. If I see a gnome out there in the middle of the street, I'm a human and I'm coming. I was out in the fantasy forest the other day. I saw this gnome hitting a fucking mushroom medley vape. Blew my fucking mind. I asked him, can I have some? And he handed it to me. It was this big honking thing. Kind of looked like one of those hookahs, but bigger. And I started hitting that thing real fucking hard. And I was coughing. I was coughing a lot. I'm not going to lie to you. And this goddamn little creature. He could just take five pulls of that thing without nary a cough. Not a single fucking thing. Anyway, uh, talking to those gnomes, I figured out a perfect medley for my uh, new supplement line. So if you want to buy Gnomish Delights on the Infowars store right now, check out Gnomish Delights, and it'll make you freak the fuck out. You're going to have a great time. It helps your spine health, and it makes you feel a lot better. Remember to be looking it up online on the Infowars store. Gnomish Delights. Find them later. Please help me. I'm, I'm bankrupt. I Damn you gnomes and your Gnomish Delights. Where do I get $10 from? Do I have like a fucking... My money keeps slightly increasing and that worries me. Is there an alien with like a... Dressed up like a dad with his billfold that's like putting money into my checking account every once in a while? Because I had like 320 for a while. There was like an alien in a sweater vest around here somewhere saying, Here, 10 bucks for you. Go to go see a movie. Oh, you get five for fixing the servers. Oh, shit, I didn't know. Okay. Good shit. I thought, I thought an alien fucking came out of nowhere and said, Hey... Good job. Here's 10 bucks for you. Go see a movie. Go see a picture show. Eh. What the fuck? Oh, that's a bird. <laughs> that was a bird. Oh my god. Unknown object detected in flight. Ah, bird. Why do we hear fucking wind chimes? Oh, that's the ambient music? Yeah, I was like, who the fuck is like... God, imagine going outside and your wind chimes are going crazy, but the wind isn't fucking moving. But like, but like there's a fucking gray alien outside just tinkling on the wind chimes. That would fuck me up. Alien wind chime salesperson. Hello, human. Would you like to buy some wind chimes? Please help me feed my family. Please. <laughs> yeah, no, hi, hi, bye. I'm fucking out of there, dude. I am out of there. How do I, how do I, do I have to put batteries in you? Hello, cat. Ow, fuck. Ah, uh, stop it. Fucking stop! Stop, Pat. Okay, thanks. Um, activate? Activate. Poggle. He plugs into the wall? Oh, okay. Oh, I see. He does have a little plug-in, doesn't he? Hello, funny little robot. Hello, funny little robot. You chill here. Go into the locker. Fucking nerd. So he lives in the locker! And plugs in the wall! In there. Nobody must know my shrimp shame. This is where we put the shrimp when we're done with it. Nobody must know of my shrimp shame. 
Oh my god. No, this couch, this couch looks like it's gotten some use. It's already got, like, the wear and tear on it, right? So, like, you, you know, a new couch is fine, but sometimes, like, an older couch that has a bit of wear and tear on it is just real good. I can't explain this to you, but everyone say sometimes a couch with a bit of wear and tear on it is fucking comfy as hell. Like, there are, there are butt groove marks on this bitch that have been here for years, right? And we want, we want that, like, those antiquated butt grooves. We want that zesty shit. Bring it up to the stairs. There we go. Let me sit. We can watch Lanky Box all we want. We watch some fine TV. Check that shit out. Some fi fucking epic, epic videos online. We watch epic videos online, dude. We watch awesome videos online, dude. There we go. <laughs> there's the first one. All right. All right. I got this. Okay. All right. Let me see. This, there's the first one. Uh, need that one on there. Two bikes? No, thanks. I need that one. Um, what other kind of picture do we want? I know. Ain't that a kick in the head? <laughs> the room was completely black. I hugged her and he hugged back. As the sailors say, fought. Ain't that a hole in the boat? Come on, I saw it. There it is. Perfect. And then this one can be Randy. It should be in there. Where is it? There it is. That's pretty good. Hello, boys. Any gray aliens looking to impregnate me? I'm waiting. <laughs> Anybody looking to, uh, to pregnant this man? I'm waiting. It's fine. We got full battery. We got, f uh, enough food and we got it. Oh, 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 oh! Kerfus, no. Kerfus, bad. Bad, Kerfus, bad. Bad. Bad, silly boy. Bad. Oh, my fucking god, dude. My fucking hoy. Thank you, Fields McNugget, for the tier one sub. Get jump scared. I got fucking... I got Kerfus jump scared. That was kind of horrible. Oh, fuck log. Every day with the log. This is literally how I feel when I ran into Kerfus. I felt like that. That's literally how I felt. When I saw Kerfus, I was going fucking haze mode. Scared the shit out of me, Buster. The ATV is here to make your life and job easier, Brendel. You should utilize the ATV more. I know. I'm trying to utilize the ATV to my full ATV potential. Four-wheeling, four-wheeling and dealing. When I was a kid, my dad had a four-wheeler out of the farm. Kind of wild. We used to ride that thing all the time. We should not have been allowed to ride that thing all the time. My brother got in so many little accidents with that. Thinking about the four-wheeler and just riding it down a dirt road. And be like, man, there is a, there are multiple times where like, I should have just gotten hit by a car riding that thing. And I was like 12. I've x-rayed pl plenty of collarbones due to four-wheelers. Yeah, no, my brother once ran it into the ditch really bad, but he never got hurt. We were playing it with the four-wheeler at the age when you're a kid and you're like a, a big red rubber ball, right? You know that age where like kids... Uh, they either break, uh, they break their arm or they suffer like a traumatic injury and nothing bad happens. You know, you know that, right? Where like, you fucking like, I, when I was a kid, I fell off this slide and landed awkwardly on my arm. I, I fell like eight feet, eight, I want to say like seven or eight feet off of, uh, this slide. I like jumped off and fell and landed awkwardly on my arm. Ar nothing wrong. Arm was completely fine. No problem. Never broken a bone, right? And then my friend, uh, Jace at the time he was uh, one of my mom's friends kids and i hung out with him a lot when i was little uh he also jumped he fucking broke his arm landed exactly the same way i did in everything broke his fucking arm doing it he was the, exactly the same age as me in everything we both landed exactly the same awkwardly it was like monkey see monkey dipshit do broke his fucking arm and i was like why are you hurt what's wrong with you? why is your arm bent that way my, my arm didn't do that Happens sometimes when my brother got hit by a car riding his bike perfectly fine. Yeah, I just, I don't know what it is. It's not that kids can't get hurt, but sometimes kids just like, and, and just people, all right? Sometimes people just get like a ridiculous, like, uh, like you should be dead. And they just get up and they're fucking fine. They land, somehow they land like perfectly perpendicular to the earth or something. And they're perfectly fine. And then some people like miss a step when they're walking and their brain explodes. What if you milked the aliens? Stop it. That's utterly ridiculous. But Brandon, what the fuck? Oh, that's a sign. I thought that was a fucking, I thought that was a, I didn't think that was a sign. I thought that was a grave in the middle of the road. I thought the aliens had dug like for a joke. They like dug a grave and the grave just said my name. And it was just in the middle of the fucking path. This is where we're going to bury you when we fucking kill you guy. We're going to fucking get you. We're going to fucking kill you. We're just playing with you right now. We're playing with our food. We're gonna fucking get you. We're gonna fucking kill you. Like, oh shit. Please don't do that. Please don't fucking kill me. 
What kind of milks do you think gnomes drink? Uh, berry milk. I think gnomes are the kind of guys, uh, modern, the, the modern everyday gnome, uh, is probably very hipster core, right? Like a modern day gnome is probably pretty hipster core. I'm not going to lie to you. I.e. like they're, they're, this is a thing is they're, they're drinking like berry milk out the berry hole, right? Oh, that's a hole. Uh, we got more financial support for our mission. We can get deeper this time. Today I noticed something interesting. The hole made one deep bassy sound. The hole is pretty weird. Huh. Hole is uh, pretty weird. Brendan, I'm talking directly into your ear now. I, I need you to use the welding torch on the exploding barrels. I'm not going to use the welding torch on the exploding fucking barrels, okay? I have one... I have three quarters of a brain, all right? I'm not going to say I have a brain, but I have at least three quarters of a brain cell somewhere rattling around in here. Um, this is fine if I do this right. And nothing bad happened. Oh, well, something bad happened. I heard it from far away. I heard the implosion. And anyway, so uh, far away, I, I imploded several squirrels. I blew up maybe 10 to somewhere on 20 squirrels. Oops, I'm rolling. I rolled that bitch like a professional. Catch me at the X Games. They should have a witch version of the X Games called the Hex Games. More witches should be on skateboards. They should have the Hex Games. I would love to watch that. Even if they weren't real witches, like just people dressed up like witches, hanging out and doing cool skateboarding tricks. You're my funny little robot, aren't you? You're going to sell people milk at the Walgreens when I'm done with you. Brendan, no, don't make Kerfer sell people milk at the Walgreens. I'm going to make Kerfer sell people milk at the Walgreens. Nothing you can do about it. Kerfer is going to be one of those digital fucked up robots. Sells milk at the Walgreens. He's milking Kerfer. No, no, Kerfer is selling milk. Nobody's milking Kerfer. Ridiculous. Kerfer is being forced to sell almond milk. All I'm saying is, all I'm saying is right. Give Kerfer a fucking axe and send him out into the forest to chop wood. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm Send Kerfer out into the forest, give them a fucking axe, and have them chop wood. All right? We're talking lumberjack robot. We're talking free log. We're talking wood collecting robots. I'm just the whole gamut. Take the whole fucking forest down and then nothing can hide in the trees. All right? You take the whole fucking forest down and then nothing can hide in the trees. All I'm saying. All I'm saying, Buster. All I'm saying. You take the whole fucking forest down and then nothing can hide in the trees. All right? Humans, humans are naturally inclined to destroy the forest and promote industrialism because there are things inside the trees. All right, Brendan, you're a soldier. Nothing can go wrong. Get out there and find that funny cat. We don't need our ATV. Wait, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. It'll be fine and normal, and nothing will go wrong until everything, uh... Chat. Fucking aliens! Ooh, a picnic. I am a little hungry. Ooh. I'm out of here. Oh, little alien. I ate their weird fruit. Get away. I ate their weird fruit. I gotta get... I gotta... Nope. They're gonna be really pissed. They're gonna be really pissed at me. Holy motherfucking shit. Is that a reference to the book Roadside Fucking Picnic? What the fuck? That's a weird thingus. Is that Maxwell? It says right here. This is like a this is a microwave. Oh, is that a little goofin? Get those alien fruit though? No, 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 no. I heard footsteps over there. I'm fucking off. I'm I'm just falling into the woods. My ass is out. My thermal underwear have popped open and my ass is fully exposed. The flap on my thermal underwear has popped open fully. Now my ass is fully exposed to all of the elements. What the fuck? Chat, 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 chat. You see the moving green, right? It's an orb! I was just talking about orbs! Chat, you see that fucking orb, right? I'm not gonna go say hi to the fucking orb. I see that orb. Orb. Orb stuck. Kiss the orb. I'm not gonna go and kiss the orb. I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm, I am looking at the orb. Gorb on cam. Green gorb. Anything else is the orb a ruse. The orb is not a ruse. Go back to the gorb. Don't miss the gorb. Don't miss that gorb action. The gorb is coming closer. Why is the gorb coming closer? 
What does the Gorb want? What does the Gorb want, chat? What does the Gorb want? What does the orb need from me? What does the orb want from me, chat? I gotta know. I gotta know what the orb wants. I have to know. Swing away, Brendan. Swing away. Swing away, Brendan. Swing away. Where are you, Gorb? I fucking see you. What's up, bitch? I see you over there. Oh, you did, you fucking asshole. He's fucking gone. I was gonna go fight the Gorb. I ran out there with my. I thought there was Slenderman right. I thought Slenderman was that shadow right there. Freak me the. What the fuck? The Gorb's back? No, he's gone now. God, wouldn't it fucking suck if you looked up from your camera and there was an alien and he was just fucking another alien in front of you? Like, he just. He just. Alien butt cheeks just up against the glass making that fucking. Sound? That'd be the fucking worst. Anyway, I, uh, <laughs> cool mods for Voices of the Void, right? <laughs> Man, what if they, what if they, uh, what if, what if, like, uh, what if there was a mod that, like, uh, what if, uh, what if you saw an alien's butthole? I mean, uh, <laughs> wild, wild. Brendan? Yeah. I'm just, uh, what if you, what if there was a mod where, like, uh, what if you were hanging out in the woods and uh, what if an alien spread his cheeks and, uh, what if he, what if he showed you his whole butthole? I mean, uh, <laughs> Would that be fucked up or what, dude? Do you think an alien would be so juvenile as just to show you its entire hole? Yes. Yes, I think an alien would show you its butthole. I think I think maybe it, 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 you're not thinking within the you're thinking of within like within like the cultural confines of humanity. There's got to be an alien race out there who doesn't give a shit about modesty. They walk around naked all the time. Showing their butthole to somebody else is like a like a handshake for them. Do you want to be the do you want to be the asshole who ruins alien relations between human and alien because you didn't show the alien your butthole when the alien showed you its butthole back? The fog is here. The fog is here. The fog is here. The fog is here. Something is here. Something is here. Something is here. Something is fucking here. Turn the computer back fucking on right now. I can't see it. I don't think. Shit. I almost dropped my soda. No, there's no way he's inside. I think he's on the. I think he's on the other side where I can't see him. Oh no, my butthole. Outside of the bounds of normal science. We cannot see him and we fear him. Uh, is he still out there? Oh, fuck chat. Okay. I can't rely on the funny little robot. I have to go and look. I have to go and look. I have to chat. I have to go and look and see what it is. We have to go and see. The, the coward's way is not looking. The righteous way is to look. So grab your pickaxe. Hold it thusly. And get ready to fucking hit. There's the orb. Oh. Oh! This orb is evil, ain't it? The orb's evil, ain't it? The orb's evil. The orb's evil. The orb is trying to fucking touch me. Don't fucking touch me, orb! Fuck you. Fuck you, orb. Don't fucking touch me, orb. Uh. Hello? Where did... Hello? What the fuck? Huh? Ooh. Ah! Ooh! <laughs> well, it didn't teleport me that far, at least, so... Ooh. There was a res- Go on, in the resonance cascade! Ah! Now, Gordon, into the test chamber! When you smoke too much green orb goo... The green orb yaya yeah, yeah, got me all fucked up. I thought it was Sasquatch for a second. I was howling. <laughs> Naked in the woods. Uh, Brennan, you gotta get back. The orb is stealing your TV. The what? No fucking way. What? What do you mean the orb is stealing my TV? What? No, oh, it's fucking... <laughs> you genu I genuinely, for a second, I thought that was a mechanic of the game. That, like, the orb teleports you and then breaks into your home and steals your television, chat. I <laughs> you can't do this shit to me. You can't be like, Brendan, you gotta go back. Quick, quick. The orb's taking your fucking TV, dude. He teleported you to take your shit, dude. Like, I can't... I fell for it and I'm mad about it. You gotta go back, Brendan. You gotta go fucking back, dude. The orb's gonna take your TV, dude. He's gonna make your TV an orb TV. It's gonna get real. Spherical. The orb is stealing your catalytic converter, Brendan. Dude, 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 you gotta get back. What? Well, hello, freak. Stop. Here, you did a great job. A little pet for you. Now turn off. The orb's hot wiring your car, dude. Oh my god. So the police returned your car after the orb stole it, right? Yeah. It smells like fucking, it smells like Wendy's. There's empty Wendy's wrappers everywhere. 
And like, I don't even know, I, I, I don't even know how he afforded that much fucking Wendy's, but he bought like, I want to say like $2,000 worth of Wendy's from the receipts I've been looking at. What the fuck, dude? Yeah, I, he didn't use my credit card. My credit card wasn't in there, but like two grand in Wendy's. And how long was your car gone? Three days. You're telling me this guy stole your fucking car, this orb stole your car, ate 2K in Wendy's over the course of three days, and then the cops got the car back. Yeah, they found it in an aqueduct, an aqueduct, an aqueduct. Fuck, dude. Can't have shit in Rome. <laughs> Stone cold out here. Out here in Dusty Divot. Looking for somebody to do duos with. If you want to do duos with Stone Cold Steve Austin, give me a hell yeah. If you want to get those hash codes and then go down to the alien McDonald's and get some hash browns, give me a hell yeah. Stone Cold beat the orb. Stone Cold beat the orb. Stone Cold, Stone Cold stunned the orb. Stone Cold's not afraid of no orb. What do you think? Stone Cold's afraid of orb? No way. Stone Cold's not afraid of no orb. Ain't no orb, Stone Cold fear. Ain't no orb, Stone Cold's near. Stone Cold drank 40 buzz balls last night. Stone Cold wasn't even a little bit drunk. Here. Gnome side picnic. Oh my fucking god. Imagine roads. Imagine stalker, but instead of alien shit, it's gnomes. Get out of here, stalker. They're coming. You can hear the horde of gnomes. <laughs> stalker, do you hear them in the tunnels? <laughs> you can hear their gnome taunts. They laugh like Scooby Doo, but they are not like Scooby Doo, stalker. Imagine telling your kids, your teacher, and you tell your kids uh, that are in your class, all right, next week we're making stone soup. And none of them brings any, all of them literally just bring in handfuls of pine cones. Right? All of them, every single, they all just bring in just hand and handfuls of pine cones. Nothing else. Nobody brings the rock. Nobody brings any cutlery. So you're sitting there and you're like, fuck. You're a teacher. You want to make them stone soup. You told one kid to bring a big rock and they, he couldn't find a big rock, but he found a bunch of pine cones. Nobody brought any meat or any like vegetables. Just put it in the crock pot and it's just pine cone soup. Mmm, pinecone stew. Mmm. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We've been making funnies in stream chat. Oh, let me take a little look, see, see what you've been making. Shall we do a little shall we do a little show and tell? See what you've been up to? What the fuck have you been up to? This whole stream, what have you been up to? Let me take a little look, see at stream chat. That's a great pick. Why am I flying? Why? <laughs> Why am I on like a business suit? Why am I flying? Weezer Ratitude. It, it, is that why somebody said earlier, Brendan, you're never mind? Am I going to scroll down and see the never mind picture? What the fuck? No! <laughs> there it is. Brent Daniel, never mind. <laughs> Why am I in FNAF 2? Oh my... <laughs> How did you get this to look so perfect is the thing. <laughs> oh, the Macy's Parade! Oh my god. Chat. Chat, bless your fucking heart. Bless your fucking heart, chat. Bless your fucking heart. Y'all went crazy with that. Why? Y'all went insane with that. Good job, everybody. Great job, everybody. I'm so proud of you. I was in third grade when 9-11 happened. I remember it vividly. That day, I, I've told my 9-11 story before, but that day lives lives forever in my head. Um, our teacher was teaching us, our third grade teacher was trying to teach us uh, mnemonic devices to learn, like, um, math equations, right? There's, like, uh... Four times four equals 16 some more. You know, three times three is nine and me. Two times two is four and you. And like, uh, she gets to five times five. She's teaching us like the math tables and like you're, you're, you're in the mod. She's trying to like say weird shit, right? So she says, uh, five times five equals teacher takes a dive. Uh, sorry, no, no, fuck. I remember, I'm remembering this wrong. She says five times five and she's trying to do like a football tackle. And she falls to the ground. And I say, teacher takes a dive. Or one of the kids said, teacher takes I'm not going to take credit for that. One of the kids said, teacher takes a dive. Um, Could have been me. Could have been somebody else. I don't fucking remember. This is third grade. But what I do remember is she fell. She had a bunch of bruises uh, afterwards. And after she fell and was getting up, another teacher ran in and said, you got to turn on your TV right now. 
You have to. You got to turn on the fucking TV. And boom. Second plane hits the fucking tower. Right after she had fallen and gotten up. Insane. We all went home early that day. And I was like, Dad, what does it mean? What? Why? Why are those buildings on fire? And my dad, I remember... I'm pretty sure my dad said, don't worry about it. This is New York shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm in his big like fucking Range Rover. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure my fucking father, that's New York shit. You know, middle of Iowa. I, <laughs> I was like, okay, dad, I don't know. Now to give your dad credit, he was ahead of the curve on that one. Well, that and he was very, very high. <laughs> And very, very mad that he had to pick me up from school. He was not happy that he had to stop doing what he was doing, which I assume was uh, some kind of drug. Probably meth. He was not happy about it. He was I think he was more pissed about having to stop doing drugs and come pick me up and take me home than he was about the towers falling. So, I don't think terrorism is New York shit, but fair play. I mean, it, I was in third grade and my dad said this to me. Like, I, did, I didn't understand it. I was like, what the fuck? I had to talk to my grandparents later that summer to be like, oh, that's why everybody was sad. Because, like, I didn't know. I was like, oh, I was fucking, I was a third grader in the middle of dog shit Iowa. I didn't know what the fuck was happening. I pledged the allegiance every time they said to. I put my hand on my heart. I'm just, what is the measure of a man? I don't know, Brendan. What, what is, is the measure man? of a man? The fucking, I love being able to hear me listening to the Mountain Dew review. From from the other room. Hey, what the fuck is in here? But oh my he fucking god! Does. I offer you no tricks, no gimmicks. Great job, Brendan. I can sit around the architect of do, yeah. I fucked up my green screen so bad. It's so fucked up right now. My green screen is so fucking goofy. I will say, comparatively, I think I look a lot healthier. After losing some weight, I think I do look a lot better. Me reacting to meat once it where's the where's the this way? Me reacting to me. I have a youthful glow. Amazing. Bren credible. Simply Bren divine. Simply irresistible. <laughs>